Hello. Morning. So my favorite part being a programmer is that I get to solve problems nobody even asks the solution for. Like read me files. You know when you finally download GTA 5 of uh, Fit Girl and there is this really helpful file called the read me. But the most common place read me's are used is in GitHub repos. When you open a repo for the first time, you get to see the read me file which is the face of the repo. It tells you everything you need to know to get started, make your own version of it. But the only problem with that is when you are finally done coding your project, bug testing it, deploying it, nobody likes to write readme files. So I thought, well, that does not make any sense. You already wrote the code. Why do you need to write the readme file again? The information you need to write the readme file already exists in your code base, and you can just pretty much extract the information from there. So if you are into coding and programming, you might face several problems like coding or programming we have tools now cursor writes your code figma the ai thing makes the design the most important thing in your coding repo is a readme file and out of the five friends i have 10 of them agree that writing readme files are the most boring thing ever and the first thing somebody sees while analyzing your repo is the readme file which is the face the thumbnail of your repo your coding work what you did all the weekend so what are we gonna do to find these readme files obviously i'm not gonna write it you're not gonna write it we all are lazy so the question is does this tool actually exist is there a tool out there which goes through your entire code base understands it and makes a summary of it in any given template and the answer is yes there's pretty much a wide variety of it but actually none of them are quite useful deep wiki puts you through a queue which takes hours to resolve most of the people watching this video are college students who are working on their side projects to put them on their resume and to get those sweet sweet ATS scores while applying for internships and jobs a spaceship is cool spaceship is powerful spaceship very fast but you do not need spaceship to go to the kitchen you can walk to the kitchen or maybe use a scooter because we don't do anything manual here. So the requirement for the app which most people can use seamlessly without quitting in the hours which doesn't make you feel like using a shotgun to scratch your head and gets the job done pretty neat, pretty solid, very beautiful. So there comes in Gitful. So before you slander me on Twitter calling me out, here's the thing. This whole video is like a self-promotion but, but watch it anyway. So before we start making Gitful, what do we need for the ideal readme maker? One, it needs to be one click everything like for sale select your repo select your branch bing bang boom done number two very simplistic ui it needs to show the purpose of this tool very clearly very effectively funnel the users right into where they need to go the real reason i did this because i am very terrible at designing so keeping things simple helps but the problem with this is the code base can be anywhere from a few thousand lines of code to a hundred thousand lines of code and you cannot feed all of that to the small context window of any API. And yes, I am not training any model for that because I need money to host that on render. The free tier is beyond talk shit. So I have a few options. Use a free API provider like Croc. Use their Metalama model and somehow squeeze my way in the small context size of 30,000 tokens per call. So how exactly is Gitful approaching this problem? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the file tree, I'm chopping out the unnecessary and files, the folders which I do not need, the, the form, form plugs, plugs I'll I'll go to them. them. And finally it gives me the thing. So in one click it extracts data from your repo summarizes your repo takes a screenshot of the home page of your application if you have that link enabled takes the first image from your readme file compares that image with the screenshot it took comparing the existing readme file with the new one that it generated and merging both of them together and if you are using the new screenshot as the thumbnail it puts that into the public folder and after all that cake and drama it commits the new readme file into your repository and by the definition of one click you do not even need to click on something to get to the repo it automatically takes you to the repo and if you want the complex algorithm i'm making the code base open source on a thousand users